Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with 11th chapter of microwave engineering where the microwave resonators are being addressed. Very first of all, we have seen the conditions of resonance with the help of series and parallel connections by making the use of lumped elements. We have also addressed the short circuited and open circuited conditions with respect to lambda by 2 and lambda by 4 length of transmission lines. Now we have further extended the resonance conditions with the help of cavities to make the two openings of the waveguides closed by short circuited plates. So now here we have the rectangular cavity resonator from the rectangular waveguide and a circular cavity resonator from circular waveguide. In the previous videos we have gone through the understanding of quality factor a ratio how exactly the energy is stored with respect to the cavity resonator with respect to the ratio to that of the power dissipation in terms of per cycle we can see here. So energy dissipation we can call it. So let us have one problem solved with respect to the rectangular cavity resonator to make the calculations. So here we have the problem statement, a rectangular waveguide cavity from a piece of copper with A is equal to 4.755 centimeters and B is equal to 2.215 centimeters. The cavity is filled with polystyrene, epsilon R is equal to 2.25, tandel is equal to 0 0.0004. If the resonance is to occur at f is equal to 5 gigahertz, find the required length denoted by small d and the resulting unloaded quality q for the l is equal to 1 and l is equal to 2 resonant modes here. So this is the problem statement. So in this problem statement, we have a rectangular waveguide converted to the rectangular cavity resonator here. So now it has been made from a piece of copper material and as far as the rectangular case is concerned, the cross section is having the internal dimensions small a by small b. So small a is 4.755 centimeters and small b is 2.215 centimeters. So this is the breadth of rectangular cross section. This is width of rectangular cross section. Now this is a cavity resonator which has the cavity filled up with this particular dielectric material with the relative dielectric constant 2.25 and the loss tangent, a lossy material as it is, we have 0 0.0004 here. Now such a rectangular cavity resonator is operated for the resonance condition to occur at operating frequency used that it is 5 gigahertz. Now what is asked in this problem statement? We are asked to find the value of required length small d and the resulting unloaded quality. So the two values we need to determine here. So this is the first one, the length of the cavity resonator d. The rest of the two dimensions are already given to us and the unloaded quality q suffix 0 is equal to what is the question here? So this is the second part need to be determined provided the resonant modes occur at L is equal to 1 and L is equal to 2. So let us solve this problem. So to determine the two answers here, we first of all make use of a wave number. The wave number is denoted by the letter K here and it can be computed as we have omega that we can represent 2 pi f in multiplication to square root of epsilon r here which is divided by c the velocity of the light rays in the vacuum or free space here. So here in this problem statement we are provided with the value of relative dielectric constant the operative frequency for resonance condition 5 gigahertz also this is 3 into 10 to the power 8 in terms of meter per second. So this results into the value of wave number k is equal to 157.08 
as the wave number is with respect to the unit length there it is measured in terms of per meter here so this is the intermediate value that will be very very helpful to us for determination of the required answers now the required length of the cavity resonator that we can denote as d so d is equal to what so for the resonance condition we can in general take the integer constants m is equal to 1 whereas small n is equal to 0 so that time we can make the formulation for d from the equations to have the analysis of the rectangular cavity resonator we have d obtained in the form of length l into pi divided by the square root of k square minus pi by a squared here so when we put length l is equal to 1 so that time d results to the form pi divided by the square root of we make the first term inside the square root 157.08 to be squared and the second term is subtracted from it it is pi divided by 0 0.04755 so this is also squared and it is under square root here so therefore what we have l is equal to 1 that has implied the value of d to the final form obtained as 2.20 in terms of centimeters here so in the similar fashion when we put l is equal to 2 so this implies twice of this value so d is equal to 2 into 2.20 centimeters so d it is equal to 4.40 centimeters here now we can have the calculation of the loaded so now we can have the calculation of unloaded quality factor q sub x 0 there so first of all we get back to the problem statement so this was our problem statement and this was supposed to ask the length here provided to the l is equal to 1 and l is equal to 2 so we have both the answers for l is equal to 1 we have 2.20 centimeters and for l is equal to 2 we have 4.40 centimeters so now for unloaded quality factor we shall be solving so for determination of the values now we shall make the use of eta the intrinsic impedance generally we say for the dielectric material so this is simply 120 pi or 377 you take to the numerator divided by square root of epsilon r the relative dielectric constant so with the dielectric constant provided to us substituting it we obtain eta is equal to 251.3 so as it is impedance it is to be measured in terms of ohms here so now this eta is to be used while calculation of the unloaded quality factor q because of the conductive region and that of the dielectric region so therefore very first of all for the conductive region capital q sub c can be expressed into the three forms the equations are we can either express it as twice into omega 0 into capital w sub e divided by capital p sub e with respect to the storage of energy and the power dissipation here now we can express the two in the form of we have k cube the wave number into small a into small b into small d into the eta divided by we have 4 pi square into the resistivity value for the conductive material rs which is further in multiplication in the denominator to the square bracket that has l square a b divided by d square as the first term added to b into d divided by small a square next to that we can add it to l square a by twice d here and further to d by twice a here so we complete the square bracket 
नेक्स्ट इट कैन ऑल्सो बी समराइज टू दी फॉर्म गिवन एज स्मॉल के ए डी हैविंग द पावर थ्री हियर इंटू स्मॉल बी इंटू इटा डिवाइडेड बाय हियर वी हैव टॉइस पाई स्क्वेयर इंटू आर एस वेयर इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड टू दी ब्रैकेट दैट हैज टॉइस एल स्क्वेयर ए क्यूब बी एडेड विथ टॉइस बी इंटू डी क्यूब एडेड विथ एल स्क्वेयर इंटू ए क्यूब इंटू डी एडेड विथ ए इंटू डी क्यूब हियर सो एनी ऑफ द फॉर्म ऑफ द इक्वेशन करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द मेजरमेंट फॉर क्वालिटी फैक्टर ड्यू टू द कंडक्टिव लॉस वी कैन से वी कैन यूज फर्दर वी शैल बी ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ क्वालिटी फैक्टर ड्यू टू द डाईलेक्ट्रिक मटेरियल सो करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द डाईलेक्ट्रिक मटेरियल वी रिप्रेजेंट क्यू सफिक्स डी एंड इट कैन ऑल्सो हैव द फॉर्म ऑफ इक्वेशन एज अ टॉइस ओमेगा इन टू डब्ल्यू सफिक्स ई डिवाइडेड बाई पी सफिक्स डी हियर सो इट कैन बी फाइनली एक्सप्रेस इन द फॉर्म क्यू सफिक्स डी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टेन डेल दैट इट हैज अप्रोक्सीमेटेड टू सो नाउ दिस बोथ द फॉर्मुली फॉर क्वालिटी फैक्टर वी शैल बी यूजिंग सो ड्यू टू द कंडक्टर लॉस फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ एल इज इक्वल टू वन making the available value substituted to the formula of qc we obtain qc is equal to 8403 here whereas for l is equal to 2 we obtain the value of quality factor due to conductor loss this is equal to 11898 here in the similar fashion for Q suffix d, if we compute for L is equal to one and L is equal to two, we obtain one upon tan del, giving us one upon zero point zero 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 four. The same material dielectric common to them, so we obtain it as two pi u zero zero. So now, in order to obtain the unloaded quality factor in total. we have to account both qc and qd so therefore we shall be expressing here for l is equal to 1 we obtain the total unloaded quality factor so it will be having a relation with respect to both of the two components as we have inside the bracket 1 divided by qc value that it is 8403 Which is added to one divided by Q D value that just now we have computed two pi u double zero, and this one bracket is completed and is having the power minus one. So this results into the value Q zero is equal to one nine two seven. So this is for L is equal to one the required answer. Next to that when we put L is equal to two, so it results into the unloaded quality factor in total is equal to we have 1 divided by 11898 the value of qc added to 1 upon qd that it is 2 pi u 0 0 so finally it is taking the inverse and we obtain the total value q0 is equal to 2006 pi u so this is the determined answer so getting back to the problem statement we have determined both the answers for the length of the cavity resonator under consideration and the unloaded quality factor so i hope you have understood well how to solve the problems associated with the quality factors to be determined for the cavity resonators so here this was the resonant quality factor we have determined for the rectangular type of cavity resonator so now by the next lecture we shall be having another problem to consider the circular cavity resonator so i hope you enjoy learning the topics of microwave engineering for more details and the knowledge you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you